So. <laughs> Hi, John. Uh, welcome and uh, hello, everyone, to another Mind Colonies developer stream. Today, we're again here with a very cutting edge version, which we're going to bring out release after the video or partially at least since we have some in development features in this current version so for once we have some in development features to help our the delivery men to prioritize requests better so that's something we're definitely going to try out during the stream and the second thing that has been requested often by many was a new item which is the rallying banner banner which can be used to rally all your guards together. So those are going to be two things we'll hopefully be trying out this video. Um, hi Toby and hi Ing Ingertan as well. How are you two? So, first of all we have to dump some of our things in the warehouse. Let's start by doing that. Ouch. Okay, I'm doing great as well. I was able to do a bunch of progress in my university real life project today, so I'm fairly satisfied. <laughs> it, the banner will call them, but depending on the guard level, it seems the guards will have like a speed bonus to to get started okay let's check what we need iron swords and bows and guard towers so we need a bow four bows at least let's start making this item and then we'll be able to test it out in the next raid probably but it's good to already have it with us uh -huh. Um, I'm using the Firewolf texture pack with the Seos shaders, that is. Oh, very nice. Did you fix... Ah, great that you fixed that for us. Um, I'm actually not studying in Germany. Um, I'm doing a dual degree... PhD degree in Portugal and Brazil that is. I think the bows are upstairs here. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So. And our kids are growing up step by step. That's amazing too. So we're going to need one of these here to get the two guard towers. Let's put away a few of these things here. We might not read right now particularly. And then we got the three bows. And I'm going to need swords as well. Just let me double check. Three bows. I got pick up, picked up too many. Three only is fine. Now I need three iron swords. Um, do we have iron swords here? Skimters, not swords. <laughs> not even <laughs> iron ingots. Um, let's check what our builder needs. So I think one of them just started with the smeltery level 3 and it was Chenny. So iron bars, does that one need? Do I have any iron ingots with me? Only three. It's not enough. Let me check in the base if we have some iron ingots still hanging around. Um, this also has some other new little feature besides those that I just talked about. Um, for once, we've added some neat little icons help, to the skills. I think it kind of gives them better visual effect. And here in a bit bigger resolution the skills on that side. Um, I'm fine with food. Check for iron. We have some other small demon fixes. Um, 
some crash fixes and all these kinds of things as well. So that is definitely going to help out as well. Do we maybe have some... I, I actually doubt it that we have in this room any iron. So I'm going to give the smelter a bit of iron to get that done. Oh, that's very nice um, of you. So... What can I do for you? Yes, man. Okay, he's been requesting some fuel that's soon gonna get and do you have any iron around no so I still need the iron swords but for that I need more iron than what I have let me dump some of this stuff in the warehouse so all these things what else can we dump of this in the warehouse not all that it's fine um, let's check what kind of iron things we have maybe our smelter could deconstruct 31 iron ore iron pickaxe yeah besides that nothing really helpful so and some add-ons joined me just now as well let me just turn hi there in the server voice oh there are 30 nuggets i didn't hey. see that Oh, 30 nuggets, that's true. That's like the another three iron I need. Um, the version we're playing on right now has a few of um, the features G.I. Joe was working on. Oh, two died. So it has the rallying banner, or a first version of it. So... That's six, and that's enough. Oh wait, I had dumped my sticks as well. That was not a very wise decision. Now we got it. So, three swords, and a yellow banner. So we need yellow wool, and this here. Oh wow, what is happening? <laughs> we just lost since I came on three guards to arrow. Three? <coughs> yeah. Wow, what what just happened? Make that four. I think we had a really nasty skeleton, maybe with some extra armor. Yeah, maybe make that four. Like, what? What the hell? Where are they dying, Dang. some Eddins? <laughs> What's happening? This is underground, isn't it? Yes. I think they're stuck again, some Eddins. No. So why are they all dying? Like, we just lost six guards underground. Oh, I might and they seem to be spread out. Maybe that's it. Nah, they don't seem to be fighting. Another one died. And there are other ones coming here. I'm not sure why they weren't fighting at all. Um, maybe <laughs> something messed up something in the guard AI. 
that stops them yeah. to fight. That's possibility. Um, hi, Docarus. How are you? But we definitely lost a lot of cars just now. That was very unfortunate. Do we have everything? One, two, three, four, five. Assign to the other tower. One, two, three. Do we have anyone else to assign? Nope. So. Um, the wool. <laughs> now I can go to the warehouse and take care of the yellow banner to finish this recipe. And we can check what's wrong with the guards since they don't seem to be reacting very well. So I need yellow wool and six of it. Let's see how fast I'm going to get a delivery man to bring that around. Nope. Okay, I'm going to meanwhile check how Chenny is doing. Because she's needing something for this build. Okay, let's get started. A furnace. That I can give you a few. If you say so. There you go. And most of the other things we should have in the warehouse already. Okay. Let's see if the delivery man not yet delivered it. He's coming back. Maybe he's going to take my task next then. Nope. He's going somewhere else again. So. Hi, Iris Jeff. How are you? <laughs> and we have a pretty new test version here. So we're checking out how our workers are doing. So that was fairly quickly. Now the next delivery man brought it already. So now we should have everything in the inventory. Yes. So <laughs> I always forget the back door in the warehouse. Now we have to walk to the guard towers and register them by clicking on them as far as I understood it. Let's see how that plays out. Um Okay. That one was added. So we got a bunch of other warehouse uh, warehouses. Guard towers in the colony. No one working, but let's register it already too. This. So we can get another one here. I'm going to run from guard tower to guard tower and register them and we're going to see how that is going to work out. For now I've got one guard that will come to help me. Still only one, that one has no guard assigned to it either. Oh, yeah, I didn't register the second one. You're true. You're right. Um, if you have a setting in your world turned on that is called inf infinite colonies, then you can actually uh, have ch like you create a new colony, you remove yourself from the first, and you add yourself only as a as an officer to that first one. Okay, here at least we got someone. Work level three, so it's not the strongest guard. That one was added four, yes. And that one you said failed, so I'm going to add that one back. No, the one before that one. That one here failed. And then we got another tower in the desert, as far as I remember. And this is the new rallying banner item, and we're going to see how that one is going to add work out. We do not have a lot of guards at those towers, so I hope some of the kids grow up until the next raid so that can assign more people to it, to the guard towers, since it does not support um, 
the guards yet. So, do we have no one here either? Wow. No, not yet. It's It will be, but it's not yet implemented on this height of the implementation. I'm not sure if you had tuned in already, Gia, but when we started, it seemed our guards that were currently on the guarding task were actually not fighting back. So, four. Is there something? Seven. Nice, it has a nice tooltip. Yeah, that's like he wanted it tested in a bigger existing colony and that's what we're doing basically. Yeah, the bat got destroyed in that tower. So... Okay. And let's check out how Jenny is doing because we need her to finish this smeltery as soon as possible. Today, then. Okay, she's going to get that delivered. That's nice. Okay, okay. There is a back door. I know there is a back door and I can walk through here. <laughs> Just <laughs> forget after five minutes about this back door again. But I know it's there. <laughs> What's so, today, then? you're getting that from the crafters. So. <laughs> Let's see. A crafter is there crafting actually, right? Or requesting something. Okay, I have to actually walk inside here. What can I do for you? So that one seems to be finished. I have some pirate boots hanging around here. Where do they come from? So. Where do you know the pirates from? Leonard? Leonard? So. so. Then I believe a delivery man will come up relatively soon and is going to pick up that order to the miner. Let's check out the miner quickly. If he actually has this delivery incoming. So. Ah, that's the question. Um, some add-ons, did you find out already what happened? You mean with our guards? Yes. No, didn't check here. Yeah. Um, if they're like... Working or fighting now. Oh, uh, I said mm, to patrol so we don't have more dying. Ah, okay. Um, very funnily, the delivery man somehow was able to deliver quicker to the minor de defenses that I could run over here. So that that was pretty funny. Okay, sure. Let's check out the delivery man um, priority list in here. In our colony. So, we got this one here. We got a delivery here, priority 13, two deliveries, and then pick up at the same priority, more or less. Um, another pick up at priority 12, and another pick up later at the sawmill at priority 10. Let's go to the other delivery man hut that's not so far from here. And then we can check out what that one currently has in the list. Those are the two oldest delivery men. So here. Also 13 for the delivery and then a bunch of pickups with uh, very similar priorities. And I guess I should go to sleep quickly just before our citizens start dying again. Here we go. I think when the delivery man is stuck upstairs is actually when they're putting things or taking things out from the racks here upstairs. 
I assume. Yes, we had them on the dynamic priority, but maybe it's. Let me check out the fishermen, for example, here about the priority. The fisherman has a, a level 10 priority. I think we can reduce that to 3. That pickup is not so important. Um, I also adjusted some of the things that previously the teacher was dumping all the time after teaching, which was fairly unnecessary and was every time calling the delivery man to do that. So that should be better now too. Let's see, we have an other delivery man that is finished building already. Now I'm not entirely sure where we place that. We have a delivery man there, but that one is not built yet. Ah, it's there on the other side of the colony. I completely forgot about it. Now I remembered. Okay. Let's sprint there. So much walking. <laughs> the guards are here using... Uh, we uh, it's because the gathering of the delivery man used to be random and we recently changed that so in the future um, you shouldn't have that problem anymore with the delivery man having nothing so and that one here it's only deliveries at the moment Oh, I, I like to try to remember where the things are on the map and not abuse the waypoints. Iron bar still. Yes. What is he building? Barracks towers. It only needs iron bars. Okay, that is unfortunate for him. Because that will need some time until I got my level 3 smelter. Because then we're going to get double ingots. And then it's only worth it making the iron bars. Maybe we can check in the warehouse if there are any iron bars too. Yeah, that's not really satisfying. So let's check out how Chenny is doing again. Okay, she got basically everything besides the shingles, so she should be finished soon. I thought there were a bunch of guards, but actually that's a school full of kids here. Yeah, we got a bunch of kids here studying at school. And does the teacher How still have paper? That, some paper you? still. And every kid is having some paper. So those should be leveling their intelligence fairly quickly. Well, I'm actually quite happy with the new icons. Because before I always needed a long time to find the skill in the list. But now I see like the brain here and I know intelligence. It's easier to find the actual skills. So. Got a bunch of guards roaming around. And still... Um, also the bug was fixed where the builder was getting stuck with water. It was actually a pretty kind of stupid bug. Because what was happening... So you're now going to request this. Yes. So because what was happening is that the clear step was supposed to clear everything but water. And the but water <laughs> was not included in the in the code. So now the but water part should be included. And all the builders should now only clear um, the normal blocks and should not get stuck at the water since they're going to clear the water only after the solid block step. So that it will also allow you to pl uh, place things under water, for example. Because if the worker cleared the water um, at the beginning, just water would start filling back up and the benefit would be relatively small. If you say so. Okay. So I have to add this manually to Barnaby. Okay, let's go. Um. How's the work going? 
how are you doing? It's working, it seems. I think he's sick. What level is he? I level nine, that's not too bad. Um oh it's an update that I completely forgot to tell you about. We can test out right this moment. Let's check how that is going to work out. So let's check that out. Um because now do you see this? We got a nice little tooltip over the items the worker is going to need here. So that should help you now more easily to find out what is actually needed here. And if you were wondering, everywhere in all our GUIs where there are item icons now, this is going to be displayed. So that we implemented that for all our GUIs now. I am talking about the letter. Do we have maybe as much letter? So that they can actually assign this task. Um, hi to you too, Jack. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, I didn't even have to run all over there. Because that should also work in the builder here you can see it actually works everywhere in any GUI where there are icon item icons it is going to hover hover those as well and what is the um, advanced tooltips f3 plus H um can you see this even works with advanced tooltips so if you want to know the exact um damage value or something like that that also works so that i believe should be a lot of help for everyone who was wanting that feature for a while now so Oh yeah, we definitely need a railway to the university. Let me see if we have any letter. 25 only, so that is not very satisfactory. Um, I think we, I have a feeling that we're still not producing a lot of wheat. I'll make you a mighty fine deal on some wheat. Absolutely, right away. Uh -huh. Oh please, I can help you with that. Can't find some potatoes here. But actually wheat. I have a feeling that our farmer is not gathering wheat. The silo is empty as well. He does. He does? Yeah, but Apparently not well enough. What can I do for you? Texas potato field looks completely different from our wheat field. Yes, the potato field looks much better. The other two, uh, I think it's because you just finished the uh, the wheat the potato field, working on it. What can I do for you? But let's. Why aren't you? Okay, now she's going some. Oh, funny, she's taking the rail to go from one part of the field to the next part of the field. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a funny little quirk as well. Um, maybe we just need more farmers as well. Okay, you're getting to get those from the warehouse. And I'm going to assign another um, guard to a guard tower. Because I want to guard, call a bunch of cards later. <laughs> <laughs> with the rallying tool and then see them all die probably because they're all low level guards that would be not so nice so hired a guard here too well, it was that way <laughs> no no manual raid starting please uh, automatic rails are good enough already um 
I'm going to do my best work. Ah, she you. finished the smelter level three. It seems like it. That really looks good. Let me check out the smeltery here. Um, that one is still yeah. There's no construction tape around it anymore. So I guess that one was finished. Yes, sir. So I guess I can give you that right away. to smelt. And getting going to get to sleep now too. Um, the severity of the raid depends on your colony development index, which depends on a few factors as far as I remember, which is the levels of your citizens and these kinds of things. Um, yeah, you can actually have, uh, you should probably place, have, place a farm and then place some fields. <laughs> uh, someone already said that, that maybe if we have like idle builders, instead of having the builder idle, have builders walk around in the colony and see if anything needs fixing. Yeah, big uh, colonies have very severe raids. Although pirate raids, as far as I rem remember, are, re are fixed. So there's like a max level pirate raid, I think it was. Um, I don't think there's at the moment a distance to the rally item. So let me check out. Let me check if there's anything else. Yeah, I think that would be a fairly neat feature to implement. And actually it's pretty easy. Barely an inconvenience. Um, that's all iron, and we do not have the archery in combat academy requirements. We do have this here to decrease the fleeing damage with 16 emeralds. I think that should be something I should start upgrading soon. Yes, we have some plans to, like the, the main problem of the pirate raids at the moment is that they do not scale very well. So what I mean is there are like two different levels, um, three different pirate ships and relatively early and the, like the first pirate ship is ridiculously easy. The second pirate ship is doable and the third pirate ship is death. And... The general idea we're having is to scale this a little bit better so that the first pirate ship is going to be only one little ship, then there are going to be two little ships, maybe three little ships, and then in the next time it's going to be a big ship. Emerald 15 and two blocks. So I'm going to request two blocks of emeralds here. Emerald 2. So that should be a quick delivery with them not having nothing to do here. Um, yeah, there's trading planned already that should incorporate this kind of behavior with like post office thing where you can th send things around. Um, with the trading system, one of the plans is that you can send around traders to other colonies trade things for you and if you want to send things you could just have it a free trade or extremely cheap trade for example okay that was combat too low building level oh that's a level four i derped um let's see if anything else we can increase here do you want to mm -hmm. Let's increase the leveling here. I got a bunch of books with me. Yes, I do. Let's research this. Not met. Oh, I need a library for that. My bad again. Uh -huh. School level three we have. So I'm going to get six oak bookshelves. 
Do I have oak with me? Nope. So I have to get some oak quickly at the warehouse. Yeah, that's... I forgot, we have only level 1. I did click upgrade on the level 1 library though, so the builders should relatively soon start taking care of that. Um, oak. So since there's probably still a deliveryman not so busy, I can oak log. Can you bring me 16 of those please? So, let's see how how long that is going to take. It just walked around me, didn't deliver it. Um, some delivery man. So I'm going to check out the builder quickly. What's it today then? Cactus door. I'm going to make those as well for you. So while I'm on it. I want... Do we have 16 cactus? Nope. Um, cactus blank. Do we have those? We do. Perfect. And he already brought the oak locks. So we can make some bookshelves. I think it was 10 bookshelves, wasn't it? So I need... Maybe a few more oak locks. Get another 16. Here we go. I did hear of people already cheating around by <laughs> burning down the pirate ship. I actually have to start, probably have to start thinking on not allowing to burn down pirate ships anymore. As long as their pirates are alive. Because it is like a cheaty workaround for that. <laughs> but the uh, spoilers aren't burning down. Hey, but it kind of makes... Maybe you are just making it harder to reach the spawner. Um, another guard to assign to another of our empty guard towers. I'm going to take care of that as well. I think that one here was empty too. Let's take care of that. Slowly assign all our tower guards here around the colony. Um, here we go. Um, intelligence 4. You didn't go a lot to school, I believe. Oh, wow. They're growing up quickly now. I'm going to get the next one assigned right away, too. Here we go. Um, did not update yet. I'm going to click repair, cancel. No. Our list of citizens did not update yet. Is there someone working at here? No. Oh, I actually put the spawners at a bit more obvious locations again than those that you've sent me Carlson or because that would be just way too bad for our players I think they would just go crazy then with all the spawners hidden in the pirate ship talking about that I actually finished the generic code of the pirate ships already as I said yesterday but actually there were some little things missing yet so I had I finished that today so that the ships can now also rotate like if you notice probably that the ships at the moment are always at the same rotation they now are going to ro have random rotations in the future okay you can have the rest of those and we go to the university now TNT cannons <laughs> yeah there are other ways to get this handled too I guess Still might not uh, take care of the spawners for you, though. Oops. No way good to go through here. So we go through here. Okay. And 
Now we can go to the... How many bookshelves was it? Six. And we almost have that. I thought it was more than that. That one is the books. And we have books already in inventory. Good. So, two more. One, two, one, two. Civilian research. How many do we have? Ah, one, two, three going at the moment. So that's a perfect amount. In the last episode, we also were starting to work at the, this area here behind. As you can see, it's slowly coming together still. Let's clean up the space. <laughs> I see he is uh, Carlson or is more a player who likes the more um, difficult play style actually um, something we could maybe add is um, actually which would make that possible is you add two levels of tax to the ship. There could be like a normal and a normal hard mode tag that would add like in hard mode an additional set of hidden spawners to the ships. And that would then kind of allow both kinds of players to find their joy. What do you think about that? That would be fairly easy to implement, Carl. Because at the moment players are already over challenged by the guards, uh, by the guards, by the pirates. So I wouldn't want to increase that too strongly. But um, yeah. I can send you the modified schematics if you want. And you can then add additional hard mode tags to them. We just sleep quickly. Oh wow. Some items, what does... I don't believe it. What? You put observers with TNT under the bed. Just try if it works. <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't. Fortunately, it didn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> because um, there are no explosions in the colony. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have so, so many plans on adding things. So there's someone at the moment working on adding a beekeeper. That's something I already know. But in general, we have a whole list of additional workers. So the next two workers are most likely going to be a rabbit hutch and a and concrete worker. Yeah, that's uh, Minecraft Charlie here. And a worker to create concrete. And... After that, we have a plans, some plans to dedicate the builder a little bit more so that you have not only a builder, but you can also have a digger and a um, constructor of... I always forget that word. Someone to construct something around the build sites to make it more efficient. So those would be like optional workers that would make the build flow more efficient that would be the general idea of that um, I always forget it um, what is the bamboo recipe ah, scaffolding so it would be a scaffolding worker that creates a scaffolding around the building which then is going to make building for the builder more efficient and going to make the builder request things to the build side for example um, road workers are also planned in the future 
And as far as I know, um, Orion has been experimenting a little bit with uh, a road worker, but it's fairly difficult to make that work smoothly. So that we don't have any definitive results yet for that. Although the hut block and the worker model are ready already for these. <coughs> Sorry, for the road worker. Ah, nice. The university path here is almost getting ready too. So. And we're going to check out if our if we have now a bunch of iron in our colony warehouse. Um, iron? Still not. Let's see how the smelter is doing. Oh, they're working too fast by me in the, on the rails. Yeah, I'm totally lazy following paths. You know me. Okay. How's the work going? Going fine. There we go. I'm going to steal most of that iron from you. So that is nice. That made a lot of iron out of this. And I can now make our other builder happy getting him the iron bars Barnaby needs. Um, yes, an alchemist is also planned. In that terms, um, we even wanted like two Ouch. an alchemist type um, worker and an alchemist type fighter worker, like a a fighter that uses um, potions to like throw health potions at friendly allies, allies and to throw pain um, damage potions at the opponents. That was our general idea. To kind of increase the variety of guards we actually have. Yeah, like a witch type of worker it would actually be. I'm going to ask for some food, Gwen. Do you mind me taking some food? I don't hope so. Um, yes, you can get the fish back. I actually like the baked potatoes. Hi, Captain Salt. How are you? Um, no, there's no specific page. You can most see a lot of things in our GitHub in the planned and requested features. But in general, we don't have a page where all of the things are added. Like, <laughs> I know that each of our developers, of our main developers, maintainers, have um, a list of planned features. However, um, we plan to keep them ourselves so that people do not pressure us about when is this going to implement it when are you going to finish this so if it's nowhere written and it's <laughs> there is no contract forcing us to finish these things within due time okay so i'm still waiting for the next raid yeah nowhere publicly written And the next update is going to be after this stream. And what kind of problem are you having with Mind Colonies at the moment, Bradman? Yay! The other barracks tower level 4 was finished as well. Now our guard, our builders are getting more and more efficient. As they're leveling up, like the smelter level 3 started the smelter building and finished the smelter building within a short time of this episode. That was super fast. Um, no, I wanted the town hall to push up the plantation in the list. Plantation. 
Um, yeah, the plantation was here, the bottom of the list. So we got the plantation up. Um, I'm going to also click upgrade on the other huts that were still under upgrade here. So now that the citizen hut close by was finished, so I can click upgrade here again. There we go, upgrade. Um, and the okay, almost fell down here. Um, here it is eight. Now nine thirty. So there's a bunch of doors in this building here. Is this here started? Yes. Do I have? I think I have to start this combat academy level three too. But we do not have anyone assigned to it. Yes, no one. Oh, we are level three, so I can actually trigger the next upgrade. I thought it was a level two building only. And so we learn. So we learn. Yes, PM. I'm in UTC, in the UTC time zone. That's why everyone who likes this videos in our stream, do not forget to follow to be updated about our streams. In general, we always stream around 9 o'clock um, PM UTC, which is like around now. Uh, around five to seven times a week. Yay! Those fireworks look great <laughs> now that we finished them, and that they don't look black anymore. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea as well. Yes, to be able to trigger um, upgrades of buildings. I definitely like that idea. If you could request that to our GitHub, that's uh, definitely something. We would want to implement in the suggested features category you can request that um nora got a job so i can assign her to the guard tower so that was close that was kind of risky but i definitely like the idea of having like not having to click, but actually the work, the thing is going to get upgraded with time automatically. That's definitely a nice idea. So. And our citizens are, are like the rabbits, just got a bad free for a new kid and <laughs> two new kids are living in a colony already. Um, let's see, Barnaby seems to be fine. Let's see how Chenny is doing. Um, oh, she's finishing the next level 2 citizen relatively soon. Where is that citizen hat? North 14. Uh, that should be this building here, isn't it? Oh, that now that should be a little bit too close. I believe it's that one there. Oh, almost fell down in the ravine again. Should be this one here she's building on. Yes, definitely. One of the kids is living here now. That's a great place. Um, some items, are you close to some beds? Uh, yeah. What is your fisherman doing particularly bad? Because our fisherman is doing very fine. Like, very fine. He's doing a great job. And I forgot her name again. Who is our fisherman? Kinda disappointed. I hope he or she is not going to be mad with me for forgetting her name. Her name. So. Yay! Oh, well, now I really like looking at the 
<laughs> upgrade fireworks now that it's not black anymore that definitely looks great yay the plantation 2 is getting started now we need more paper for our school so that's definitely the next logical thing to upgrade we got a lot of paper in our um, warehouse we got a lot of paper in the warehouse you said yeah like 10 stacks or so really or five. let me check that out Oops. I thought we didn't have a lot of paper in the warehouse. Paper? Oh yeah, we got a bunch of paper. Like six, seven stacks. Maybe it's not requesting enough. No, the... The worker seemed actually fine with the paper. As far as I saw. The school had enough paper, but I thought that the paper would run um, short soon, so that's why I upgraded it. Yeah, that was really close, John, that I fall. It's the second time I almost fell in the ravine, but I'm getting better. I'm learning. I know where the ravines are in the colony. <laughs> yeah. Um... What do you mean? Did D-Man picks up the things in the fisherman's hut and the fisherman hut then stops working because he stops get getting items? Am I understanding this right? So we can upgrade this one here too. We can probably start upgrading these to level 5. Is there any unreasonable thing? No. Level 5. <laughs> so. Um, Al. So that one I don't want to upgrade so soon, but what are the... Those are actually fairly cheap for level 5, so I'm going to upgrade this one here to level 5 too. Um, the next upgrade I am going to upload after the stream, Gordus should solve that problem you're having with the builder, most likely. Ah, that is also going to be fixed in the update today, Captain Salt. Yeah, that was one of the things I was actually talking about. So, we get some sand. I'm seeing some holes in our entire colony of the Endermen. So, but you might actually need more delivery men as well. Yes, actually the update should be running, um, coming out more like a few times a week. But since the build system is still down and they're building up something bigger... We are still needing a little bit longer until that is all fixed. So that might need some time yet. But I'm very positive that tomorrow we're going to be starting to roll out normal builds again. I'm very positive about that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please, fine. <laughs> Okay, so that citizen hut we can upgrade to. Great, almost forgot about that one here. Yes, I think the in the demon update you you created um, seems perfectly fine. Um, if there's not nothing you want to add particularly to it, I would um, build the version with the delivery man hut after the stream and then push the delivery changes to it and upload that together. Um, no, there is a um, issue called feature, like suggested and planned features. And in that you would comment what you want. And we, could we would then add that 
to the planned list, basically. And then if any delivery and any developer wants to pick that up. Yes, sir. Not good enough for you, huh? You seem to be hungry. That seems weird. Hitting so rarely. But fine. I think um I think it's fine. I like it. Um if you want, you can add a config check for the in development feature. There is like this um config option called in development features. I think it's exactly that. Like in development features. And then you can check if that is turned on you show the thing or thinking about right now you could actually check for the advanced tooltips thing and if advanced tooltips are on you show the priorities i think that would be pretty perfect because that would allow us to debug the things and have it always added to the worlds without needing config changes and it's client side only which is also very useful since it's in a GUI. Weekends again. Oh. So you're requesting a bunch of trapdoors. I think it should fix the Acacia signs now as well with the next update, probably. No, we only have. Um, Sugar cane crafting at the moment. So we got a bunch of guards here. What are you up to? They don't know. Okay, I'm going to let you hang out here. And <laughs> for the people wondering who are new here, um, the chat you can see. Ah, he's harvesting because now. There's a bunch of wheat missing here. Uh, for the people who are wondering, the chat you can see is our tech colonies server for our Patreons. And we've connected that one with our development server so that I can with our chat chain mod talk in the Patreon actually write them. What? Barracks Tower 3? Finished. Nice. So we're getting double messages here. So I believe that the feature to show the decorations is now printing also the buildings. No, the plantation has a trigger button. I can show you that really quick. Um, the plantation has on the page two a button for you to trigger what kind um, of crop you want to you want it to grow and at the moment the plantation can only grow one crop at a time but maybe I'm going to add something like a research that you can have it grow more crops at a time so here you can have the settings to only have it grow once but I definitely like uh, the idea of the research so I'm going to write that on my little list yeah done so that's definitely a nice research to allow to grow two things at a time in the plantation you can select which done which one then oh, oh, uh, um, he now seems a bit broken what he isn't queuing, but walks back and forth, and people stick up in it. This hospital mm, could make that uh, the like. If he's walking back and forth, that's because there is a citizen that is sick, and he doesn't seem to have all the things to cure him. So let me get the things quickly. 
I've noticed this already, but I was not able to debug Keep that it. problem yet. Oh, oh there are some pirates pilot. coming. So I'm going to go to bed quickly. Good that I'm close to a citizen hut. Oh, everyone is sleeping here already. Not so good. Do you want to try them alone for uh, balancing purposes? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sure? <laughs> yes. Very. Okay. So I see you had fun putting around TNT all our colony. Uh, just in, in the entrance as emergency blow up for raiders. <laughs> How do I now trigger this? Okay, I have rallied my army now. Ow. Sorry. Okay. Ouch. Okay, I died. That's bad. Because I see them swimming to our colony. That's really bad. Okay. So one, two, three, Do that. ouch, three, <laughs> so. Four. <laughs> Five. Six. We're going there. We're getting there. Seven. And now the rest are underground, as far as I remember. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. All destroyed. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. A bunch of our guards are dying. Possibly those that I rallied. And the guards are here. I see a bunch of pirates running. Oh no, who died? Lily Keyhammer. And a bunch of guards are dying in our colony. Yeah, our guards aren't fighting at all. Oh, I see Barnaby running away. Don't do that. Oh, I hate you. You killed Barnaby. I don't believe it. You killed Barnaby and the miner. And Gwen. Oh, fuck. I'm not going to say the word. Yeah, it seems our guards are stuck in this side and not fighting. Okay. So it's all on us. All on us. And our citizens are all outside. 
so. No, it's because our guards are with the update not working. So the guard tool is not working at all yet. But yes, we already said, while the guards are nerfed already, they're not very balanced yet. And we're playing on hard mode, there's that as well. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to load um, the colony from backup <laughs> after we're finished here. <laughs> yeah, 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 after we're finished with those guards, I'm going to load the colony from backup to get our citizens back. It's because our guards were basically super useless. And I'm not going to let Barnaby die. <laughs> so on video we're going to show how to recover your colony after everyone died because of a bug in the guards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone is dying. And people are not at home either, which is, I think, a bug with the, the raid. Everyone started working normally again, even though we're in the middle of the raid. <sighs> Which is also a bug we have to fix. And where are these? The raiders. The remaining ones. I've got one pirate captain, but that's it. I see one here. And the loot is not inside yet in the in the in the ship. Yeah, I'm won wondering if it told them to go back to work after I destroyed the spawners. That's yeah, I think after you uh, finish the spawners, I come out again. Yeah, that's definitely not how it should work. <laughs> um, oh. And there still seem to be a pirate around here. Yes, we are playing in a mix of sandstone and acacia. That's exact. Gordas. <clears throat> Hey, we got new child. <laughs> um, I can't find any pirates anymore. And yeah, for sure, they're still either. around somewhere. And I think we should have some notifications too now. Yeah, exactly. That's why oh. I'm saying that there must be another pirate around yeah mm. uh, probably next to the ship stuck somewhere at the ship mm, not seeing any there either uh, you have spies on right uh, not anymore since the raid is over Ah, yeah, we definitely have to twerk that, that those citizens don't start working again after the raid is over. Only because the spawners are killed. Oh yeah, he has one. Wait, no. At a structurized 320, we're going to release with um, after the stream exactly. Here's another one. Wait, no. The 
seem to be more, right, than that. Uh, John also suggested the tribute system recently. Let me check on the map if I see any more pirates around. There seems to be a re red dot on the other side. Here. Oh, another pirate captain, even. So, I think those were all then. And then the ship is going to sail off. In just a moment, probably. Should, should at least. <laughs> so, G at least found the, the bug that killed all our citizens. So, um, uh, if I load the bug fix, it's going to reset some. Now, if I do a load backup, it's going to reset some buildings as well, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Building levels. To last. Okay, load back up colony AD1 and yeah, I think we're going to keep it at the video for that. I'm going to shut down and restart the server to load the citizens from back up. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to add cannons to the <laughs> pirates, no worries, they're already strong enough as they are. Uh, we're going to restore our colony here a little bit, and I'm going to see you guys then tomorrow in the next video. See you everyone, good night.